All right, welcome to the Investor's Guide of Memphis Real Estate. I'm your host, Dean Harris, and as always, I'm with Douglas Skipworth. How are you? Hey, man, doing great. We are bringing you this podcast to give you guys the boots on the ground knowledge to be a successful real estate investor here in Memphis, Tennessee. Please like and subscribe to our Investor's Guide of Memphis Real Estate YouTube channel you might be watching on, the Facebook page. You can look them all up there, listen on Spotify, wherever check uh, wherever you listen to your podcast. Show sponsors are listed on your screen below. We couldn't do this show without those show sponsors. They're extremely important to us. Uh, so please take a look at those guys. Um, Zoom calls. I'm still doing a weekly Zoom call on Thursdays at 2 o'clock Central Time. Shoot me an email and I'll add you to that list. And lastly, I do help buyers and sellers. If you're buying investment real estate here in Memphis, if you're selling investment real estate here in Memphis, please send me an email, mm-hmm. dean at crestcore.com, and I'll be happy to help you. Usually we have a deal of the week. We're going to skip the deal of the week this okay. week. So we got a lot yes. of information to share. We're really excited today. We're going to bring you yeah, the baby. zip code breakdown. This is one of our most popular shows. Um, the most asked about show. Um, when is it coming out? I had, uh, we've, we had a little delay in some of our scheduling and timing. I've had emails over the last couple of weeks. Hey, where is the zip code breakdown? So here we go. We're going to dive into this in a few minutes. The first thing we want to do today, I, before we go Good into call. this is talk about our show sponsors. Um, it's a, they're vitally important, not only, um, I, you know, just for a minute here, not necessarily to this show. They are, I mean, they're the ones that put this show on, Yep. but even further, we're going to go through all these and, and mention them just for a minute. Um, they help all of our clients, um, to run their business successfully here in Memphis. Yes. And to say that they're a vital part of my business and to our business here would be a gross understatement. All of these companies that we're going to mention, Good people, good companies, always looking to try to help our clients uh, move on to the next yeah, space. Man. The one I'll talk about is Local Title. Um, April McDowell and her team out at Local mm-hmm. are, have always been a um, you know consistent partner of the brokerage. They're yeah. uh, closing out of state um, of our clients. They're extremely c- accustomed to what we're doing. So I really enjoy Local Title. Will Griffin with Griffin, uh, Clift, Everton, and Mashmeyer. Yep. Will has been a partner of yours for years yeah, and yeah, years yeah. and years. Um, he has closed many deals for the brokerage. Um, the difference in some of the two, you know, of those two is, you know, Will's an actual attorney. If you have anything you need to do, Will's or uh, LLC setups or any of those types of things, yep. he has helped us, uh, been a tremendous asset for us. Um, so I was going to talk about those two and go yeah, ahead and let you talk I love, about it. I love both well. of those two, work with them, use them personally, use them for the business yep. all the time, both local and well. And then yeah. Crest Core Property Management. Yep. So they manage lots of properties throughout Memphis area and have for a couple of decade and a half. Yep. So they've been doing it a long time, seen a lot. And especially for this show, they've given us a lot of data yeah. regarding rents yeah. and challenges and opportunities they see. Yes. Uh, so they're they're a wonderful resource, Crest Core Property Management, and then also Core Lend Financial, yes. which is a hard money lender, show yes. sponsor, been in business almost ten years. They have loaned as we did. They, again, they provided a lot of data for this. Yeah, they loan in every zip code. They have had applications in every single Memphis, yep. uh, Shelby County zip code. So they're very familiar with what we're doing. The property management team has helped me for years managing my properties for as long as I've owned them. Yes, um, Core Lend Financial, I've used. 15 times, yep. 20 maybe over the yep. last few years. So I've, I've had a great experience with Matt and Richie and those guys at Corland, And then uh, all, all of our folks here in property management are just great. So yes, all four of them are great resources for you. If you need any of those um, services, we use them personally and refer yeah. people to them. So yeah, every day. So use if them. you guys need anything, let us know. We'll put you in touch. Their contact information should be listed here below. And we're going to kind of post it on uh, each one of these zip codes as we break it down. So you let's ready? do it. All yeah, right, let's man. dive into these zip codes. This is one of the, uh, again, what, what things I get the most charged up about. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, uh, really a ton of good information. So let's get started. 38127 okay. Okay. Uh, Frazier. This yes. is a zip code that is in the northwest section of our county. Yep. Um, it was one of the first subdivisions that was developed yeah. in the 50s and 60s. Uh, after you went from downtown Memphis, it it kind of went north up there yep. to the to the Frazier area. I own rentals in this market. Uh, you've owned them for for a long time. I guess one of the highlights I'll mention uh, and then let you talk about some of okay. your stats is um, 
the Nike plant yes, and yep. the Amazon plant that are yep. right there on, uh, is that New Allen? New Allen, right on the edge. Yeah, yep. right on the edge of New Allen. I'm talking like an 800,000 square foot Huge. Amazon plant, 600 or 700,000 foot Huge. Nike distribution center. So yeah. tons of jobs, uh, houses in that area are, are going to stay in demand. Yeah. Let me give yeah, you some yeah, numbers. Yeah. I'm going to bounce okay. it to you. Awesome. Sounds great. Um, let's see. Three, one, two, seven on my list. There it is. Okay. These numbers are from 2022 in July, July of 22. I'm going to give you those numbers. And then I'm going to give you where we're at from July of 2023. There were 106 sales in July of 2022 at this point, 1,279 square foot average, 87,000 was the average sales price. This year in July in 2023, there were 63 sales, 1,200 square feet, 89,000 was the average sales price, almost in half, about 40% wow. less uh, this year, which that's going to yeah. be a trend we're going to see yeah, as we right, go through right, today. Right. You're going to see a lot yeah. less sales. So those are some of the sales numbers from those areas. What have you got? Yeah. So I have been active in Frazier for a long time, mm -hmm. more than a decade, both managing, owning and selling and buying. Um, I'm up there often once a month. Yeah. And um, there's 40,000 people in Frazier. Okay. There are their their average income is about thirty two thousand dollars. So if you do our simple math, and our simple math is a third of rent, a third of your monthly income is what you pay for rent. Mm -hmm. So that that pencils out to about nine hundred dollars, mm -hmm. which is about what you see property management. That's about what they see for their average rent in Fraser. Okay. So that all that all jobs. Uh, there are thirteen thousand parcels out there. 1963 mm -hmm. is the average year built. Mm -hmm. They're 1,300 square foot homes. Three ones. Is about the average. Is yeah. about the average. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in, pro in property management in Corland, this is, this is one of their most active zip codes. It is one of the most active sales zip codes. I mean, yes. there's so much activity in Fraser. There's certain parts of it that I, that I try to steer away from. Uh, my rule of thumb of Frazier has been anything that is west of Highway 51 okay. has been kind of a no-no. North Haven. North Haven specifically. Now, gotcha. if you came to me now and you said, hey, there's some houses on the southern part, uh, west of 51 on the southern part, okay. Yeah. But I, I if, you, if you're asking me, you know, just – I would just say no. And to I, your I point, away from they're it. the farthest you could possibly be in that zip code from the Amazon and Nike facilities, yes. which is where the big uh, Activ economic activity is happening. Yeah. Yeah. So. I, anything that's west of 51, I, I okay. try to stay away from. So great. Hey, Frazier's yeah. great. Let's move to 38128. Uh, we're geographically, we're just going to move a little east. Uh huh. All right. 38128, Raleigh is what they call this area. Um, I was actually, uh, I grew up in Raleigh. Raleigh is a big suburban area. Rock, rock and Raleigh. <laughs> Top of the hill of Rock and Raleigh. There's a, there there's a bar. It was oh, nice. Up there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so we've got uh, Raleigh at 3128. Let me give you some numbers on Raleigh. I mean, they, you know, big hospital up there, uh, mm -hmm. lots of brick houses. I mean, this was just the second phase of in the 60s, probably moving into the 70s from Fraser to Raleigh. Yes. So if you're moving out east, it used to be Raleigh, right? Way out moving east. Moving on up. Now That's right. And, the and they city. just built that, that uh, the Shelby County government built a lot of yes. um, municipal stuff out there where the old Raleigh Springs Mall used to be. So a lot of redevelopment, economic activity happening there. Taking that mall down was a good thing. Yes. Putting up some some good businesses. And it's a, it's no longer an eyesore over there. Now it's an active, energetic little yeah. area. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy that they did that. So, all right, let's get some numbers on uh, Raleigh in 38128. July of 2022, there were 92 sales, 1,396 square feet was the average, 132,005 was your average sales price, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, man, <laughs> check this out. July of 2023, there were 32 sales, a third. 1,500 square feet was the average, a little bit bigger home, 139,800, so a little bit more of a sales yep. price. Not surprising, I actually, the, the sales price is not surprising. I will say 32 sales is surprising. Yeah. I'm at, at versus 92 from last year. How, I think we're going to see consistently 50% of the sales. I didn't, I don't think we're going to consistently right. see a third. No, 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 no. So uh, lower, lower numbers down, down in Raleigh from an actual sales standpoint. What have you got? From but you're going to see, basis? but you're going to see pretty comparable sales price. All across the board. Across the board. You might Prices see a little did not rise. crash. No, this isn't the episode for that, but Christ, no. 
the, the crash was in the number of transactions, not the price. And we've said that close to a million times. <laughs> close to a million. 900, yes, I think, in 88,000. That's right. 411. <laughs> 38128 Raleigh there. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm up there monthly and... It, I was up again, there this morning. You know, exactly. So we're, we're all over th- these, this county and these zip codes. Uh, there's about 43,000 people up in Raleigh making about 37,000. So a little more, okay. mo- little more people, a little more money. Yep. So that pencils out to a, about $1,000 a month what they should be paying, which is exactly what property management sees for their average rent for that area. Mm-hmm. Houses built in average 1973, like you said, yep. 70s has it moved out uh, further east, 1550, so a little bigger, and they're three one and a halves. Yep. So they're they're Getting a that little, extra half bath over there too. You, yes, and which is why the prices are a little more, the rents are a little more. Yeah, newer, a little bit newer homes. Newer, bigger. Yeah, a little bit closer to. So, I like Raleigh. I like it a little bit more than I like Fraser. If sure. you're saying, hey, which one do you prefer? But still. You can get right into that line right before as you're getting yeah. into Raleigh and, and from Fraser and Raleigh. Nice brick homes. Yeah. You, know, you can find some really good catches over there. I don't Absolutely. mind Raleigh at all. If you tell me, hey, I got a house in Raleigh, if it pencils and it makes sense, go get it. I'm all That's for right. I'm all for three eight one two eight in Raleigh. Same. All right, let's move to Bartlett. Three eight one three four. Um Bartlett has three zip codes. Yes. Three eight one three four, three one three four. Five and three eight one three three. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there's three different areas. There's three eight one three four. We're going to talk about first. It's the oldest of okay. the Bartlett. It was established right after Raleigh. Yep. Again, if you just continue to move east on your map, you're going to run right into three eight one three four. Uh, I also lived as a kid in, in Bartlett. My family, when we went from Raleigh, you, you moved Maybe right east. over to Raleigh. So yes. I mean, back to Bartlett. So moved out a little east. Good school districts mm, in Bartlett. Yeah. Um, their own municipality. Yes. Uh, with their school zones and their, I mean, their school districts and their government officials and things like that, which is a big attraction. It's a big deal. The home here. of the Bartlett Panthers. They, yeah. they, I mean, it's its own high school. It's its own school. Yeah. Like you said, that's that's attractive for a lot of people. For sure. Um, owns own codes. Yeah, that, that comes into play with property management. Bartlett. I mean, when you sell a property in Bartlett, they have to do a, a sidewalk inspection to make sure that it's got. I mean, like they have little things yeah. like that that keep that area nice. So let's and go we'll, and it numbers. will play out in the numbers. Yeah, you'll see it here. Uh, July of two thousand and twenty-two. 77 total sales, 1,785 was the average square feet, 216,000 was the average sales price last year. This year, uh, 2000, July of 2023, there were 33 sales, 1,700 square feet, a little lower, 233,000. So we're holding consistent. We're, our yes. crash was, like you said, in the numbers, not in the pricing. We're, we're, we're ticking up a little bit in pricing. So those, there's your numbers for Bartlett. I'm, I'm, it's not quite a third. It's about 50 or 60% less, but man, it's still, it's still a good drop. What about rental numbers? Yeah. It, I mean, it, it, same Bartlett's great. And it, as you move East, you will see some of the things we talked about. You're looking at a 41,000, $42,000, uh, excuse me, population, 42,000 in population, okay. Okay. 52,000 in income. income. So st- similar population, a little more money, which is penciling out to a, Fourteen, fifteen hundred dollar rental which market. Which is about what you get there. Which is about what you get there. Property management is managing, and that's exactly what they're seeing uh, at rentals. Ten thousand parcels, as you mentioned, built in nineteen seventy seven. As it kind of continued to move east, yep. uh, the houses are a little bigger. They're seventeen seventy five, mm-hmm. and they're three twos. Mm-hmm. So you can see the progression of the way the city moved and the way the houses were built. And these are bigger newer houses with people who make a little more income yes in, some in uh, bartlett area two car garages and carports you'll yeah. get a mixture in, yeah. in three eight one three four and and again in like raleigh and fraser property management and Corlancy, a lot of activity out there huge freeman park public park out there on on stage road um there's an intersection of 64 the sycamore view stage which is kind of the the central of the area yep. of the zip code they've I'm um, trying to think of the old town over there. They've yeah. got uh, an ice cream shop. I mean, there's a little kid. I was just out there <laughs> yes. the other day. I was like, golly. Yeah. Must be some some consistent. It's great. Cream, love, love Bartlett. Love Bartlett. Don't mind it at all. All right. 38133. This is the second zip code in Bartlett. Uh, a little newer, a little bigger, a little nicer, like everything is when you're when you're uh when you're expanding. This is called Bartlett uh, Bartlett slash Brunswick area. Uh-huh. Uh so at July. 
July of 2022, we had 45 sales. 1,889 was the average square feet and 296,785 was your average sales price. All right, let's move to July of 23, 16 total okay. sales. 19, 1891 was your average square foot and 289,000. So in this zip code, which the higher you go, we, we not only saw a pretty decent dip in transactions, we saw a dip in sales price. A little. Barely. Yeah. Barely. But <laughs> a little. Yes, barely. And but especially when there's only been 16, the sample yeah, size is yeah, not very yeah. large. But but owner occupants, a little bit different. Tougher to yeah, find a rental that, in 3133 yeah. for sure. Uh, but but definitely like this area. Which, what have you Yeah, got? it's great. Uh, uh, awesome area. Things you had just mentioned, you know, out there a lot. Um, playing pickleball out in Bartlett. Are you? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Um, populations, it's a smaller zip code. They're only about 22, 23,000. Part, uh, part population out there, but they're making 70 grand. Yeah. So it's uh, less people making more money. Mm -hmm. That That is about a $2,000 rental. And that's about what you from get those people, And that's about what you get. Property management yeah. is a little under that with the ones they're managing out there. Mm -hmm. 7,000 parcels, which is why there's not as many people. Yep. Built in 1991. Keeps going. It, it keeps going just like we had talked about. 2,000 square feet, three twos. So two it, car garages it, on just about everything. Yes. So they've gotten a little bit bigger, a little bit newer brick as far as, as you keep moving and you can see yeah. how the progression of how the city moved. You can find so. some flips. It's, it'll be, it'll yeah. be, I'm not saying there's no rentals, but it's going to be tougher to find a rental. that's going to pencil out, especially with the current interest rate. Yeah, And Cortland does some flips. They have some activity out there. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Uh, three, eight, one, three, five. This is the third and final zip code for Bartlett. Um, it's called Bartlett slash Ellendale. Mm -hmm. It's kind of uh, north, north, little bit, on the north side. Yep. A little bit farther north, a uh, little bit newer, a little bit nicer again as we keep going here. Uh, July of 2022, there were 74 sales. 2,083 was the average square foot. 308,720 mm -hmm. was your average sales price. This year, 2023, at the end of July, there were 33 sales. Less than half. 2,165 square feet, a little bit larger house, $323,052. Okay. Went up a bit. Went up a bit in Bartlett, Ellendale. Again, newer, nicer, three-bedroom, two, I'm sure, two-bath, yep. four-bedroom probably in a lot of these, two-car garages and that sort of thing. Anything on our yep. rental numbers? Yeah, no, same, same population is about 30000 Most expensive as far as income, 80000 yeah. So they're making 80,000, 30,000 people making 80,000 bucks on average, which is about a $2,200 rent rate that you would expect. Property management sees that a little below that just because there are a lot of owner occupants out there who bring that number mm -hmm. um, up. 11,000 parcels built in 1990. Yep. But they're bigger. They're 21, 25, 2100 feet, 2100 square feet. Owner occupant. Uh, three twos. Yes. Yeah. Owner occupant document do dominated and property management sees a little activity out there because it's just it's hard to rent those. But yeah. Coraline sees more activity. With more flipping and, things. Yep, yep. That's right. Okay. Bartlett, uh, uh, to wrap Bartlett up in a bow, we'll take it. Anything yes. that pencils out and makes sense of any of three Fine. of those zip codes, it's move, worth it. yeah. moving, it's worth it. And, and, and you're talking about steady cash flow and strong appreciation. You get both in those three yes. zip codes. Uh, I'm I'm willing to guarantee it. You're going to get both. That's great. Uh, three eight zero zero two. That's Arlington, Tennessee. We're going to just continue to keep moving east. Uh, we can get through this one fairly quick. This is a yeah. residential. Uh, again, its own municipality with its school so, district right. and police and all the other things that go with that. Very desirable from an owner occupant standpoint. Yes. Near Highway Forty. You can escape and get up to Jackson, Tennessee, pretty quick. You can be down in the city here in twenty minutes. So. Arlington is a is a definite destination location for owner occupants. It's fifteen or twenty minutes away from Blue Oval. That's what, yeah, you're, yep, yep. Yep, yep. So you're, I believe, Arlington. Yes, is going to develop to be more of an investor market soon. I don't think it's we're going to see a hundred thousand dollar houses in Arlington, but I believe you're going to see. Um, just more development, more yeah. activity. Oh yeah, as that as Blue Oval begins to develop and get a little further yeah, along. I agree, one hundred percent. July of two thousand and twenty-two, there were eighty-nine sales in Arlington. Twenty-five hundred square feet was the average. Four hundred and nineteen thousand three thirty-four was your average sales price. Tough to tough to rent that. Yeah, yeah. You're not getting four grand rent, no, right? right. Uh, July of two thousand and twenty-three, we had about half the sales. Forty-one sales, okay. twenty-seven hundred, and went up two hundred square feet. Twenty-seven hundred was the average square feet. 
And the average sales price is four sixty nine eight oh five. Makes perfect sense for that for what, that market. What, what, is what everything you just said. Yeah. That led up to like, okay, that doesn't surprise me at all with Blue Oval City, the activity that's happened out there. No. It's just a great place to be. And especially for families. Um we'll get into some numbers. Yeah, here. and by the way, like I, you know, when I hear everybody saying that everything is frozen because of this interest rate, I mean, God, there were 41 people that in the last 6 months have bought a f- almost a half a million dollar home. So, I mean, you know, in one zip code. In one zip code. So, yeah. You know, yeah. I know it's not 89, but but it's still, I mean, we're yes. still having some good activity. Anything yeah, so there are about 45,000 people out there as we've gone through this, they're making a hundred thousand dollars yeah. on average. So, so that's a lot. That's, you know, that would be a $2,700 rental. Yep. Um, property management's got a few out there and they see them a little less than 2000 bucks. Just the ones that they're, the, yeah. they're seeing, um, some of the higher end, bringing that number up 14,000 parcels out okay. there built in 1999. Yeah. So a lot yeah. newer yeah. and they're 2,700 square feet. Makes big houses mm-hmm. four, two and a half on average. Yeah, so you're getting some five bedroom homes out there. Big oh, houses. for sure. Yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure. So a lot, lot out there. I've had some property out there for a long time, and plan to have it out there for a long time. Why would you, <laughs> you don't not want to sell keep it? it? <laughs> Why would you not? Yeah, no. I there is nothing but good things that's going to happen to Arlington over the next ten years. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, with all the development absolutely. in Brownsville and all of that. So yeah, if you can if you can find a rental out there, get it. If you can find a flip, that's probably your your best opportunity. Right. Corlin can loan you money to F- do that. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's keep moving. We're going to go a little bit south now. We're going to dip. Um, if you if you go out even further, that's Oakland. I I, I think I'd like to skip that's that. That's out in the Fayette County. Yeah, it's yeah. not a whole lot going. All right, Cordova, three eight zero one six. We got two zip codes in Cordova, three eight zero one six and three eight zero one eight. Let's tackle three eight zero one six. Okay. When I uh, bought my first home in Cordova in two thousand and one. Uh, Germantown Parkway runs north and south all the way from Bartlett all the way down to Germantown. Uh, anything you want is on Germantown Parkway. And when I say anything, anything, anything. You know, any food you want, any any shop you want, anything you want is up and down Germantown Parkway. I remember this is dating myself. I remember when Highway 64 and Germantown Parkway was a blinking red light. That's that's uh it's the epicenter of traffic right now. So oh, I mean man. it's six yeah, lanes that's in, right. in each direction. So yeah, Germantown Parkway, big intersection, big I mean big roadway that that kind of connects the two. Let's keep it super some- convenient. Oh yeah. For like you said, and we're gonna talk about it and you're gonna see both in Cordova. Is this is where a lot of when you think of the uh big single family hedge funds, private equity groups that came in and yep. bought up America during yeah. the Great Recession. Here's where they bought in yeah. Memphis. These two areas are heavy dominant on hedge fund owned and, and you'll see why. Because they're really, really good they places rent to really own. Well. The well. property. 38016 Cordova. They call it Cordova North. Uh, at the end of July of 2022, there were 109 sales. 2,214 was the average square feet and 309,026 bucks was your average sales price. That's a lot out there. That's a lot. Golly. At the end of two, July of 2023, we had 65 sales. 2,225 was your average square feet. That held 290,592. Okay. So we had a little bit of both a dip in, in, in transactions and a little d- small dip in price. But that's a strong, strong market for our current conditions yeah. to have 65 sales that average 290 out there. Right. I mean, that is super strong. 38106. I know you're going to have some good rental. Yeah, numbers. good. So that's 50,000 people living out in North Cordova yeah. making 65 grand. Yeah. So that's about a $1,900 rental. Yes. Which is about what you see. Property management, they see about that a little bit lower in their, their rent rates out there. 14,000 parcels. Yeah. And here's here's where you start seeing some of the benefit of it. Built on average in 1996. Yeah. 2200 three two and a halves. So yeah. these are the these are what the hedge funds came in and bought the brick houses built in the late 90s. 1500 average square feet there's a ton. I mean you're seeing average of a little bit higher. There's a 2200 average. Oh, you just There's yes. a ton of 15 yes. 15 to 1700 three twos with yes. two car garages built on top of each other. Yes. There's, right, that's right. There's, there's right. a ton of them. I yes. mean, that, that's what the hedge funds really went in and bought. Yep. The hedge funds weren't spending 300000 No. They were spending uh, one hundred and forty to two hundred. dollars Correct. And they bought dang near every single one of them. So there, there's been there's a sell-off, and that might be a whole other podcast, but that, that's coming. So 38, 38016 Cordova North, 
super okay. high on if you can get anything up Absolutely. there flip uh or or rental, rental buy and hold yeah, great place run it. 38018 this is cordova south another great area similar features of what i would tell you about 38016 uh up and down germantown parkway everything's convenient i do believe the southern part moves towards walnut grove and a little further south of Walnut Grove. So I think all the way pretty much. Yeah. I mean, yeah, headed to Germantown, headed to Germantown. I think you're going to see a little bit higher pricing, I think. And I think you're going to see some pretty consistent transactions. So this is 38018 Cordova South. At the end of July, 2022, there were 98 sales. 2060 was your average square feet. Uh 310,806 was your average sales price. July, at the end of July, 2023, 46 sales, Half. half. 2085, same, mm-hmm. 324,599. Yep. So that one yep. actually went up, makes a little bit more sense too, because the houses are just newer and a little bit uh, larger, I think, in those. Are we holding larger? Yeah, no, yeah, actually, we're a little smaller in some instances, but they're more expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and my, dad is, my dad is, is, is going to be the same. Yeah. Um, but what I would say is Germantown which is mm-hmm. due south of there yeah. in, in Germantown Parkway, Poplar. You're talking Apple Store, the most prestigious part of Memphis right now. 10 minutes away. It's 10 minutes away. Yeah. So that that's an attraction and yeah. why that is a great rental community, why it's also going to be a little higher priced yep. because it's in the center of town. Great schools. You've got uh, Briarcrest Christian School. It's a big private school yep. out there. Houston High School Houston. is not far from out there. Cordova High School, yep. Houston Levy uh, runs right in the middle of that. Yep. Houston Levy to Macon, like there, you know, that's there's just a it's a great location. Is you know when you think location, 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 Cordova South is that. Yes, um, they're th- they're only thirty seven thousand people, but they're making eighty grand. Okay, so, th- so this is a, probably one of the most expensive zip codes um, that we've seen so far. So that's a twenty two hundred dollar rental. Mm-hmm. Property management seeing a little bit less than that. Uh, kind of the ones you were talking about, the three twos, smaller houses that are built mm-hmm. together. Twelve thousand parcels built in nineteen ninety seven. So yep. a little one year newer than the ninety six in North Cordova. Mm-hmm. Same square footage, twenty two fifty, three two and a half. So about the same size house, just a year newer. Yeah, and a step closer to Germantown convenience wise. When I got my first job in real estate my very first one <laughs> it's 2001 i was selling new construction in 38016 yeah very that's Hill what Farms, i mean uh matthew's brothers builders but, and vintage homes and fax and gillis and all that like that's how, who built all of those homes out there i bet i sold somewhere near 400 million houses out there what it feels like <laughs> that's right yeah exactly <laughs> now, that's it, awesome. cordova you're great and that was my senior year i remember that 96 and 97 being and having some friends in that area like there was just nothing and nothing, now it's a complete, nothing. total, yeah, full subdivision air communities Crazy. and that sort of thing. So, yeah, anything you can find in Cordova, either one of those zip codes, we're, we're great with. Yes. All right, let's keep moving to Germantown. There's two zip okay. codes in Germantown, uh, 38138 and 38139. Um, you're not going to find a ton of rental activity in this market, so we'll, we'll get through here fairly quick. But 38138 numbers. Uh, July, which by the way, before we even dive into this, love Germantown, right? Oh, you said yeah, it, the yeah. Apple Store and all the all of our uh, main central hub of shopping, kind of yeah, so to all speak. All the high end shopping, high end stuff is, is, is all is out where Germantown. you're going to go. Uh, three eight one three eight. We had forty six sales in July of two thousand and twenty two. Three thousand square feet was your average. Five hundred and sixty three thousand three seventy nine was your average sales price. July of two thousand and twenty three. Twenty one sales, less than half. 2852 is your average square feet, 542,438. So you had a little bit of a dip, but um, you're. Owner occupants. All of it. Yeah. I mean, I, you yeah. know, it's just very hard to find anything in here from yeah. a rental standpoint that makes sense. Flip, borrow from Cortland yeah. and flip. There's that's a, that's an There's opportunity something. that you can do in, in Germantown. Uh, what about in more in, 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 in more in 38138 than 38139? For sure. I um, mean, we'll talk about that. 38138. 25,000 people making 115,000. Yeah. So good, good income. Yeah. So that's, that would be a $3,000 a month rental. So pretty steep yeah. for the Memphis Shelby County market. Um, there are only 8,000 parcels. They were built in 1981, mm-hmm. 3,100 square feet, four, two and a half. Yep. So big. That is matching. Yeah. 
Love it. Not a whole lot we can sit here and tell you from a rental standpoint, right? Like, I go out there and have dinner with your family, buy, live out there, buy you a nice home, owner occupant home. You're just not going to find any rentals out there. But if you Tough. can find a flip, fantastic opportunity. Oakley subdivision is one that you might find yeah. one. Those are uh, you know, and if 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 by, by chance you're looking to park money for appreciation and you want to have a rental, there are some rentals out there, yeah. and it will appreciate because this is an owner occupant prestigious i don't want to say exclusive because anybody can w move there sure but it's definitely um a really nice part of town yeah. that will continue to be a nice part of town because of its own municipality yeah and i'm very familiar especially with 3138 i'm germantown yeah. high school graduate and, uh super familiar with the area and it's really grown since then yeah five years ago <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right three one three nine part this is germantown east this if you if you couldn't find any rentals in three eight one three eight you're certainly not going to find any rentals no way. here. Uh, July of two thousand and twenty two they had thirty four sales thirty five hundred and twenty one was the average square feet five hundred and fifty four thousand three hundred six was your average sales price. Uh, July of twenty three we had twenty five sales thirty nine hundred and thirty six square feet six hundred and sixty seven thousand. So. Not only did we have less sales, but they went up 120,000 on average. So it makes perfect sense for what Germantown does and what it can provide. Uh, again, it's very similar to Germantown uh, proper, 3138. Great flip area um, if you have that opportunity. Yeah, I don't know that you will because this is newer and better. You're probably not going to see a whole lot of that. And, and I was going to say Coraline has, has seen such little activity out there yeah. um, just because it's it's owner occupants and yep. stuff. There, and, 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 and here's why. There's 16,000 people who live out there, mm -hmm. and they're making $170,000 a year on average. Okay, this is the wealthiest zip code in Tennessee. Everybody thinks Nashville this, Williamson Chattanooga County, that, Williamson, Davis, and whatever. This is the most expensive zip code, most wealthy zip code in Tennessee. Mm -hmm. German, the other 38138 is, is in the top five. Mm -hmm. Memphis has three in the top 10. So everybody thinks Memphis hustle and flow. Yeah. You know, but there. <laughs> it's not all hustle and flow. It's not all hustle and flow. I mean, I, I, I love, I love hustle Great and movie. Flow. Great movie. <laughs> and love, love that part of our city and our culture um, and the soul we got. That's, that's what makes Memphis, Memphis. Yeah. Um, Memphis, 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 Memphis. Yeah, that's right. Um, that's exactly right. <laughs> but, but Germantown, you know, like I said, these these are big, wealthy houses. Forty five hundred dollars is what they'd rent for. You're not going to see a lot of that. They're um, only six thousand parcels built in 1990. Thirty eight hundred square foot average. So yeah. way bigger than even the ones um, at thirty one hundred in in the other zip code yeah. in Germantown. Four threes. So yeah. big, 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 nice residential, big homes. fancy houses. There you go. There you, you know? go. So tough to rent. Tough to rent. Okay, three eight one two five. Uh, Douglas, this is a very happening, popular zip code yes. in Southeast Shelby County. I second leg of my real estate career. I yep, moved down houses. to Buckingham Farms in, okay. in that area. And I know I sold 200 houses there. That's a huge community, mm -hmm. uh, probably a thousand homes in that area. Uh, really easy access to Highway 385, yep. Nonkana Boulevard, which is uh, a loop around uh, the exterior loop around the city again. You can be in Mississippi in 10 minutes. So close. Um, you can be in Collierville, which is another uh, hub epicenter of shopping and yep. living. You can be out there in five and 10 minutes. So uh, 3125, I'm a lot of FedEx employees. It's just a, it's a mature area that, that was in the, I'm going to guess mid nineties to late nineties was a big development time of it. So, all right, let's look here uh, at three, eight, one, two, fives numbers. They call this Southeast Shelby County. Uh -huh. Oh, one thing I want to point out yes, here. Yes, sir. You can get some properties in this area that do not have city taxes. Correct. So you're going to find some really good rental properties here that where you can avoid that fifteen to eighteen hundred dollars annually in in city taxes that yep. you'll probably find out there. So yep. uh, really popular. There's not a whole lot of them, right. but there's there's a pocket out there that you can get. All right, three one two five. At the end of two thousand and twenty two, July of twenty two, there were sixty five sales. Twenty two hundred and fifty six was your average square feet. Two hundred and ninety seven thousand one eighty six was your average sales price. At the end of July in 2023, we had 35 sales, 2,060 square feet, 278,873. So we saw a dip in transactions and a dip yep. in, in sales price out there. What you got from a rental standpoint? Yeah, so like out there, 
you got 41,000 people living out there. Yeah, big. Um, making 75 grand. Yeah. So it's a nice income area. And that's about $2,000 per month in rent. And property management, they see a little bit less than that, but but yeah. comparable. There are 11,000 parcels mm -hmm. built on average. What'd you say? I said in mid 90s, 1995. Late 90s. Yeah. So you know it. Yeah. Um, 2,300 square feet, mm -hmm. three, two and a halves. You yeah. sold them all. Makes perfect sense. I mean, <laughs> you, you know that. I can't tell you how many of those houses I literally sold in Buckingham Farms. I mean, there were two builders in there. I sat for vintage homes. I mean, I don't, I don't at least half. But yes, yes. a big a big market, uh, brick homes. Yes. Uh, like I said, FedEx employees. Shelby Drive runs uh, kind of right through there. Yeah. Uh, Riverdale is a street, kind of that intersection yeah. is, uh, is a happening little place over there. Southwind High School is in that area. That was a... They built that high school, I think, ten or fifteen years ago. Yep, uh, was not there uh, when when I was working. So over nice there, area to nice to area rent to rent, rent its own. Yep. Uh, anything else you wanted to That's add on it. that one? Okay, three eight one four one. We're gonna keep moving now. We've kind of we're making a loop. We started north and south, and now we're gonna come back here west again uh, to three eight one four one. I love three eight one four one from an investment yes. standpoint. Uh, I believe you do as well. Yep. This is, um, you, here's one thing in 141 that you'll find that I don't want people to worry about. You will occasionally see a carport. You'll you'll also see no covered parking in some areas of 38141. They rent very well, yeah. almost rent the same. It's just something that has been common. When they developed 38141, for whatever reason, some of those builders did not add garages or carports. Okay. It's not everyone, but you're, right. don't, don't be... Uh, uh, shook up us, if yeah, you, yeah, if stop, you see yeah. anything like that. All right, 38141 Hickory Hill South. Uh, at the end of 2000, or July of 2022, there were 49 sales. 1,522 was the average square feet. 182,927 was your average sales price. At the end of July of 2023, half to had 25 mm -hmm. sales. 1,500 square feet was your average. 175,746 was your average sales price. Small tick down. Yep. Half the sales and just a tiny tick in price. So I'm not that, that none of that surprises me. No, rental no, rental no, numbers. No, no. What have you got yeah, there? The last thing I say is that kind of like one two five. You can find some in one four one that are county tax only. Yes. So so that, that's always a plus. Yes, big time. I don't get all the city services, but you don't pay for them. Yeah, I don't so. think I think I think I'd rather have the non city services. <laughs> yeah. So you're talking about 20,000, 22,000 people out there making 50 57,000. Mm -hmm. And that's about a 15, 1600 dollars rental property management sees about that a little bit less than that for the average rent that they got out there. 8,000 parcels mm -hmm. built in 1986. So you're coming back east, so yeah. it should get you know, you're coming back from the east to the west, so it should yeah. be getting older. Yep. Um 1550 square feet, three, two, three twos, three bedrooms, two baths. Makes all the sense in the world. Yep. So, and that's South Hickory Hill. Yeah. I don't, uh, Winchester, Kirby Drive, Kirby Road, uh, Kirby Parkway. Is it Parkway? Yeah. Kirby Parkway. Still more of Shelby Drive coming yeah. down. What else am I, what other roads, intersections over there? Winchester, yep. I said. Um, Good location. You can be anywhere in the city in 10 minutes, yeah. 12 minutes. Uh, lots of shopping and commerce down in that area. So I've got a lot of FedEx employees, airport employees, because they're so close. Um, I have no problem with 38141 if you can find something that makes sense over there. Absolutely. I actually have several 38141s listed. Yeah. I guess I should have talked about that through that. I've got pretty much every, <laughs> right, something right. listed in everyone's zip codes. But yeah. yeah, 38141 we're great with if you find something that makes sense. Let's continue to move 38115. Okay. Um, this is slowly becoming one of my favorite yeah. areas to invest in myself. I've, I've got a few in here, but I'm, I'm constantly looking to add some more. It, I love the way that it's, it's pushed up a little bit into the city. It's uh -huh. still stayed pretty nice. Uh, the yes. homes are a little bit larger here. All right. So let's get some of those numbers. 38115 Hickory Hill North. Uh -huh. At the end of July of 22, we had 40 sales, 1,589 square feet. 148,755. At the end of July 23, we had 23 sales, 1557, 135,000. Holding consistent with about half the sales and just a small tick down in our price. Yeah, I, I, I love North Hickory, North Hickory Hill. It's always been good. Yeah. I, I call it Hickory good. And <laughs> yeah. 40,000 people living out there, mm -hmm. making 36,000. 
Mm-hmm. So not as much as the zip code to the south, yeah. and you'll see that in the rents and yeah. and and the and, and some of the data as well. So that's about a thousand dollar a month rental. Yep, and that's exactly what property management sees. There's six thousand parcels, so not as many parcels. Yep, uh, but they're built in 1976. Yep, so they're older, 1700 square feet. They're smaller, three two three bedroom two baths. Yes. So older smaller houses. Yeah usually don't rent for as much no but i i'm but i am right at the because of the income in the area yeah they're thousand dollar rentals and the location for here i believe attracts a little bit more rent you're just a little bit closer to things than you are you're closer to that's right yeah you're so i'm, I'm really high on 115 like i said it's slow Through, our next zip code is, is has been my favorite but 115 is has been consistent for me i'm looking for more properties in 115 and i have some listed there now uh, three eight one one eight. Uh, for years, this has been my my number one zip code that I've talked about with investors when they've come in and they've said, "Dean, where's you know I've got X amount of dollars and I want to start. Where where would you start?" Parkway a lot Village. of times, three eight one one eight Oak Haven Parkway Village has been location where I would go. Yeah, it's right near the airport. Yep, developed in the seventies. Uh, one level homes, three twos are probably what you're going to see. Three one, three one and a half. Uh, but they're going to be brick. You're going to have a little bit larger lot uh, because of that. Yeah. Um, so, uh, literally, the airport is square north. Um, a lot of you don't might not know, but FedEx World Headquarters is here. We land. I th- you're, you'll talk about yeah. it. But we land hundreds of planes, cargo planes a day. Uh, so the jobs or those types of jobs are all over, and a lot of them live in three eight one one eight. Yeah. And I use this when I a lot of people would ask me, well, what do you mean by you know you suggested or what have you? And like I like to kind of play these numbers with. So if you're working at the airport and you're working for FedEx, you're driving a tug. I mean, you got to take a drug test at some point, right? If you're if you're working anywhere really in that hub over there, like they drug test, it's a screening process. Like you go through. Like I like those tenants. Yes, I like tenants that are responsible. I like dual incomes in the household. You typically find that in one one eight. And the reason why once somebody gets laid off or fired, you got another. At least you got some more money coming in. So there's a lot of factors of why I like 38118 um, fr- from an, uh, an initial first-time investor standpoint. Uh, let's give you some numbers on 38118. Oak Haven and Parkway Village at 22, at the end of two, July of 2022, we had 56 sales. 1338 square feet was the average and 110,885. Mm-hmm. At the end of July of 2023, we had 38 sales. 1,417 was the square feet and 112,325. Mm-hmm. It held pretty steady. Yep. Again, transactions were lower, but our pricing held steady. That makes complete sense. If I had to guess, I'd say the rents between nine and 1,100. I bet, I don't know the population over there, but I bet the income is around 30 to 45. Yeah. yeah. So you're, you're right. That's a busy airport area. Yep. Second second biggest, busiest cargo airport in the world. Yep. So, that, so that's tr- attracting those people. 40,000 people. In Parkway Village, mm-hmm. so a lot of people making thirty eight thousand. Okay, <laughs> so that pencils to a, that that calculates out to a thousand dollars rental, which is what property management sees. Yep. Um, which kind of what you're talking about? Ten thousand yep. parcels built in the late sixties, nineteen sixty seven on average. Okay, a little earlier than I thought. And fourteen hundred three one and a half, fourteen hundred square foot, three bedrooms, one and a half bathrooms. So and nice brick, and there's a ton of them. Yeah. And it's yeah. close to the city. It's close to Mississippi. It's close to, you know, going down get well. It's, it's really easy. Yes. I love 38118. The action or the access that you can get to good homes over there is really great. Like, that's what I love about this area, too, is I think is I see good properties. Like, I, yes. It's not an area where, like, hey, everybody owns everything and they're not selling anything. I, I see turnover in 38118 mismanagement or whatever it might be, but I do see properties in 38118. Lo- love those areas. Yes. All right, let's continue to move. 38116. I say this every year when I do this, but I should put on my sideburns. This is Elvis ah, yeah, Presley baby. land. Uh, Elvis Presley lived in 38116. Whitehaven uh, is what they call that. Uh, Elvis Presley Boulevard runs right through there. Winchester, Shelby Drive. Whitehaven High School is a big high school, big prideful high school. Yeah. Um, easy access to everything. Tourism over there is uh, extremely busy. You're going to find some larger homes in Whitehaven. Yes. This was developed. This was kind of the, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I, this was the initial like suburban higher yes. end uh, South of area the, that, yep. that Memphis developed. That's right. um, it, obviously, it's it, super it, nice. Yeah, Elvis Presley, uh, you know, made yep. his home. 
made his home there. All right, let's go through some numbers for 38116. 53 sales in July of 2022. 1,700 was your average square feet. 144,000 was your average sales price. Yikes. In the end of July of 23, we had 19 okay. sales. 1,640 square feet and 100,754 was your average. Man, we had a drop in transactions in 116, which makes sense to me. And the reason why is because you can, there are owner occupants in 116. It's a different owner occupant area. It's, yeah. it's, it's nuanced. It certainly is. So I, I'm not, now that I'm thinking, yeah. it doesn't really shock me that we're seeing such a low amount of sales because of there's likely no owner occupant Who transactions. Who over there that, yeah. that drive up the price from a couple of years ago. That's exactly I, right. I, I believe you 100% because this is an area where you have a lot of income diversity, mm -hmm. um, but maybe not as not maybe not a lot of other types of diversity. Yeah. Um, yeah. And and love Graceland was just there the other night for the for Elvis vigil. Big Elvis fan, so love it. Were you really? Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> man. I love, love it. it. Love oh, it. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, Good. yeah, yeah. So I had a great time. And there are forty thousand people in White Haven. $39,000 income, which is about a thousand bucks, which is exactly what property management sees. And 9,000 parcels built in the 60s, 1963. Mm -hmm. 1,800 square feet, three twos. Yeah. So makes, makes all the sense. Yeah. I mean, and, and like you said, you've got some really nice owner occupants out there, and then you got some rentals. You, you got a real good mix. I own some on Lock and Bar, Mill yes. Branch, a um, couple on Mill Branch, Lock like Lamont, Lock all, Lamont all those areas over there. Yep. And I have a, I have one listed on Lock Lamont now, a bird property. So there's some opportunities in three eight one one six. Uh, oh, yeah, really, same. really, we, really stoked on. We, we, we've been active there, active there. One of the first properties I ever bought was three eight one one six. Really in Whitehaven. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, before we move on, favorite Elvis song. Go ahead. Oh man, favorite Elvis song number one. If if I can dream, there you go. If I can dream, it's so good, man. There you it's, go. If I can dream. Oh no, this is part we did not know. We could. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. I love it. It's coming. It's got well. Just bust it out if you need That's to, right. man. All right, three eight one zero nine. Um, Whitehaven has got some parts of three eight one zero nine. This is a, a large zip code. It might be, if I'm looking at our map yeah, geographically, yeah. the largest. Uh, if not, it's close to it. Um, rule of thumb for me and three, this is Westwood. They call it the Westwood area. Um, 61. Yeah. Anything that is yeah. west of Highway 61, I'm telling you, is a no-no. Over the years, I keep telling myself, one of these years, I'm going to say, hey, go ahead and buy over there because I do feel like it's getting a little better. But here's what you're finding. You're finding turnkey providers that are going over there because they're running out of areas to buy properties and they're fixing them up and they're and they're selling them as turnkey properties. I would caution you on that yeah. big time. <laughs> yeah. So be, be very careful and wary of anything that you're buying west of Highway 61 and 38109. East, Brick, closer to uh, Highway, closer to Elvis Presley Boulevard, which is 51, Go ahead. I, I'm, I've got yeah. several on yes. uh, Bonnell and a few in those areas. Yeah. Like I've, I've got 109, so I don't mind it. I just don't come. Really, I don't. I try not to get close to 61, much less go over it. Mm -hmm. So uh, closer to 38116, the better. All right, 38109 statistics. Where is it? It's on my list. Here we go. Westwood. It. July of 2022, we had 95 sales, 1147 square feet. 94,374 mm -hmm. is your average. July of 2023, 61 sales, 1,300 square feet, and 110,000. So to me, an only a 33% drop or 30% drop is great. I yeah, mean, I, that's strong. In price. And a little increase yep. in price. So 38109. Yep. Like that's you said, it's active. Turnkey providers might be going over there and selling some higher end houses yes. to to other investors and they that are. might have brought that up. So for sure. Um I again, I don't want to sound like I'm down on turnkey. That's the right product for the right person. I would just be real cautious of where if you bought over there, no matter if it was turnkey or something you were developing, 
and you might say why, if you heard me say this in 3127 west of Highway 51, it's the river. That's, I was, I, You're I getting that, so close yes. to the Mississippi River, there is no commerce and no jobs. The cops don't like going over there. There's just no activity whatsoever. Yeah, because, the because it, not bad being by the river, but, but the problem is there's no bridge, right? The bridges are up in downtown. So downtown by the river is it's great. The, it's as expensive as the real estate, and you'll find them in, in Memphis or in Tennessee. Right. But when you get away from that bridge... Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing that can west. I mean, just the river. There's no activity. There's no activity, so you have to go back east. Yeah. So yeah, that's a great point. Uh, there's forty thousand, forty two thousand people um, over in three at one hundred and nine, making thirty two thousand um, bucks. So that's an average rent of about mm -hmm. eight seventy five. Yeah. Um, eight fifty is what property management see, and there's sixteen thousand parcels. Huge. That's. I think that might be as many parcels as we've seen in a zip code, mm -hmm. which is what your point earlier. Built in nineteen sixty five. Yep. 1350 square feet. Yep. Three bedrooms, one and a half baths. Yeah. So. Yeah. Good. F find something in, in three at 109 East. That's the East part of the zip code closer to, you know, closer, closer to, to Whitehaven. To and and Whitehaven. I mean, yeah. then, then I think you're in good shape, especially yeah. if it makes and, sense. And, and, there's some that come in 109. I think they can come straight down into, into Horn Lake. That's right. So yeah, there, you can be in, in Horn Lake in Mississippi in three minutes. And there's a lot of activity happening in Horn Lake. It's one of the fastest growing seasons. So, that, season so that is a little bit of a draw on three at one Oh nine. Yeah. Yeah. Don't mind three at one Oh nine at all. If you can find something uh, that pencils out and makes sense. And property you. management, they see a lot down there. Core lens. sees a lot down there. So it's a lot, a lot of activity. activity. All right. Three, eight, one, one, one. I believe this is going to be our most diversified zip code from a price standpoint, rental standpoint. Yeah. It is right in the middle of our city. Uh, large zip code. Uh, sh my favorite areas, Sherwood Forest. Yep. Um, locations. Yeah. Um, by Sherwood Forest by the university. Get well park area. Uh -huh. Um, Las Delicias. The greatest salsa <laughs> ever uh, is over there on Las D. But yeah, yeah so we're I'm 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 great with three one one one. There's there's going to be some things that you see there that you really like. Yeah, uh, there's going to be some things that you see there that you really don't. Right. I mean that that's the that's the magical part of the zip code is there are million dollar homes. Yes, and there's stuff you can get for ten grand. So let's get some numbers on 38111. They call it the university area because it, it hugs up, right? University of Memphis. At the end of July 2022, we had 131 sales. I think on my list here, that's the that largest sounds like activity. A, that sounds like as much as we've heard. Yeah, 1,446 was your average square feet, 201,929. See how that doesn't make any sense? It's just so we, we, no one, I've never sold a $200,000 rental on 38111, <laughs> but those higher end prices are bringing it right. up. Uh, the July of 2023, we had 70 sales, 1658 square feet and 267,000. So that had a significant 20% jump up there, 25% jump. So again, you, you can be careful what you're looking at. Uh, you're going to get some in the Orange Mound area that I, that I wouldn't touch. You're going to get some in Sherwood Forest that I would go grab immediately. Absolutely. Uh, and you're going to find some in there that you can't touch because the numbers don't make any sense. It's just a yeah. residential. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's East Memphis, but it's a, there's a higher end on pop, yeah. like pushing yeah. up on yeah. Poplar yeah, yeah, yeah. and those Galloway areas. Golf Course. Galloway. I mean, you're just going to get some really, really nice. Yeah. Ultra up in High Point out. Terrace. Yeah. All you of know, that stuff some, is included in yeah. it. Yeah. And there's what about some rental numbers. Uh, there are 40,000 people living <clears throat> in 38111. They're making 41,000. Mm -hmm. And that's about $1,100 rental. Mm -hmm. So that's exactly what property management sees. There are 13,000 parcels. Mm -hmm. These houses were built in 1949. So this yeah. is a pretty old vintage old for area. what we, we've seen. But again, this is directly due east of downtown. Yes. So, I mean, it's like Poplar runs right through 38111, yep. and yep. that runs right through downtown. Um, so built in 1949, 1575 square feet. Yep. Three, one and a half. Yeah. Um, and, and property management and core land see Tons of activity in three one 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 one. You can see you'll get some siding houses. Not yep. a huge fan. You'll get some brick homes. Uh, the siding on uh, you know just make sure it's in decent shape. I mean, like uh, don't be afraid. You'll see some carports. You'll see some garages on some of these. Uh, but the, the Park Avenue Get Well Southwest area is my favorite of three one one one. 
Yeah. Anything it, else it, there? I, I, I love it. Been active in 38111 for a long time and plan to be. I'm yeah. over there. I, I'm in three. I'm in 38111 every single day. It's right here. Yeah. It, we, we, we drive, I drive through it every I've day. Got you standard, drive through it. You standard. drive through it every day to get here. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Straight up north. Yep. Okay. Uh, 38117. I think this might have priced itself out yeah. of our best rental zip code. Yeah. I, I hate to be downer on 38117. Tough. It, it's tough to make a rental make sense there anymore. Um, very high demand, first time home buyers. Um, yes. If they grew up in 38120 or in uh, in that Galloway area, whatever, like this is the area where they start, start off yep. and they, they live, and then you kind of graduate to, to some of those other areas. But uh, 38117 Colonial Acres um, is, is what they call this. I really love it. Uh, we eat lunch in the area. Like yeah, I, yeah that's so, awesome. My wife and I eat dinner in that area all oh, the time. Um, really good. You know, Houston's is our favorite. But yeah, mm -hmm. really love 38117. It's called East Central Poplar Perkins area. So let's give you some numbers there. At the end of 2000 or July of 2022, 103 sales. 1,777 square feet, 319,252 is our sales price average. Uh, at the end of July of 23, we had 59 sales, 2,299, 456,488. So the demand is the demand there, as you can see, is it's a big area to flip. Yeah. It's a monster investor area from a flip standpoint. People buy one hundred and thirty and forty thousand dollar houses, put fifty and sixty in them, and they're so they're two fifty and three hundred thousand. Yep, yep. So agree. Uh, and and Cortland has seen that, and property management manages a few over there. Yeah, the, 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 it's my it's my home three eight one one seven. So you know, drive there, live there. Um, it abuts the zip code that we're in at the office. So yeah. I mean, it, there there are some some. It's a little bit like three eight one one one, and that, uh, but it doesn't have. Um, I, I say that there, there's a lot of residential in the the like you just said. It's almost priced itself out of yeah. the rental. Tough. There's some on the south, kind of by by um, Quince. But, yep. Yep. Quince Mount Mariah. 27,000 people living over there making $80,000, $82,000. Yeah. So that's a $2,200 rental. A lot of owner occupants bringing that up, yeah. as you mentioned. Yeah, property management has some that's more in the $1,500 rentals, yep. um, that colonial acres type area. And they probably had those a long time. Yes, that's right. Um, we got a couple over there. I, I always, I, this is, this is the, the, the life lesson where, I was being conservative mm -hmm. and I didn't bake in appreciation. I thought I was being super conservative by not baking in appreciation or rent increases. Mm -hmm. And I guess I was. I was being conservative. Right. I was being too conservative. Yep. And I missed opportunities all day long that I could have bought for $80,000, uh, uh, push it under $100,000 that are now, <laughs> they've doubled in price. Yeah, at least. And the rent has gone up at least 50%. So it, it, the, the math would make total sense now if I had bought, and we've talked about this episode after episode, the, it, it, this isn't a short-term, one-year, 18-month, 24-month. You got to look out 200. You got to look out 10 years. Yeah. You got to look out 15 years and think about where the price and where the rent is going to be. And this is a great example. What you said is priced itself out. Because, priced itself but, out. I mean, like several years ago when we're doing this, I'm telling everybody, this is the greatest zip code we've got. But come in here and invest and then find everything you have. Now I'm basically telling you there's nothing to there's get. There's nothing to get. You're, you're not, you're not yeah. going to be able to find much. So if you do, jump all over it. Jump all over it. I finished the stats. It was 11,000 parcels built in 1959. Yeah. 2,100 square foot, three bedrooms, two baths. Yeah. So pretty standard of what you would find over there. If you do, I would I would say now if there's an area that you can find it, it's south of Quince, between yes. Quince and, and 240. Yes, between the, Quince and 240. From, Even then, it's not. You, it's going to be probably from too Park. High. I mean, uh, from Get Well all the way to Mount Moriah. Yeah, White Station. You, you, no, yeah. that's too far. It's too yeah, far. You missed it. Price yourself um, out yeah, of there. So love three eight one one seven. All right, let's move to three eight one two two. I think this is the zip code that I own the most properties in. Um, I think you Guilty. do as well. Guilty. <laughs> yeah. We're right over here by our office. That's where our office is at. Uh, I know you can't see out, but Summer Avenue dry, or, or runs right here. Um, just north of Summer is where a lot of that begins. Um, I've had some of my most consistent tenants, yes. some of my most consistent properties over in this area. Yep. Um, large Hispanic dominant area. 
a high pride of community, a yes. home. Uh, it's not ownership, but community pride yeah. is, is what we're looking for. Um, Macon runs right through there. Um, Wearing well station to the north. Yeah, to the north. north south. Uh, you go all the way down summer here to basically 240. Yes. Uh, with 38122. So great area. I, I Anything you can find here. I've got several that are listed right now, but 38122 is great. Let's get you some numbers on that. They call it Burklear. Uh, July of 22, we had 67 sales. 1,267 square feet was your average, and 142,860 was your average sales price. At the end of July of 23, we had 38 sales, 1,496 square feet, 159,008. None of that surprises me. Um, the development and the, the the turnover and the flipping of these houses over here is is wild. It's happening all the time. And you what haven't you said to- what you usually say about the big national companies that came in here. Yeah, they didn't buy any of these. No, no, no I'm sorry. The the uh, retail companies, Starbucks, oh, Chick Fil A. The one thing I I, I make I do this on everyone because <laughs> it's true. I mean, it's like we can see Chick Fil A, we can see Starbucks. I don't do much research in the area if there's a Chick Fil A and Starbucks there. I don't but, know what else there is. What do you want to research? New. Yeah, brand, brand new. I mean, within the last two years they put a chick-fil-a yeah they put a chipotle they put a starbucks and they put a planet fitness so all within a half a mile of our office and, and all of those like in the right epicenter there. of 38122 and so, i'm you know if you haven't heard chick-fil-a and starbucks typically don't put their stores and restaurants in areas where there's no foot traffic <laughs> and high energy right so yeah. and believe me you at 12 o'clock this intersection of perkins and summer is, is a madhouse right to get into Chick-fil-A, that Chick-fil-A. Baby. so yes. yeah, 38122 is great uh rental yeah, so, numbers so so some stats here um population 26,000 41,000 dollar income which is yep. about 1150 1200 dollar rental Property management sees that pushing a thousand dollars for their average rent. Mm-hmm. Um, they got some apartments and duplexes over there yep. um, that bring that down a little bit. Uh, Nine thousand parcels built in nineteen forty nine. Mm-hmm. So again, an older part of town. Twelve hundred and fifty square feet, three bedroom, one bathroom. Yeah. So three yeah. beds, one bath. Yeah, and I, the, the only location that I will hold or buy a two bedroom, one bath house is over here. Yes. That, I don't I don't typically buy them anywhere else and I have several over here. Yeah. And they rent really well. There's a I don't know why this area supports a 2-1 better, but it does. I don't I definitely do not mind a 2-1 property here, but I will not personally buy them anywhere else. Yeah. So yeah, I've, I've got several here, but it's the largest property management and Corland sees a lot of activity. A lot of activity over there. So really, really good Berkeley area, 38122. Anything you can find there uh, that pencils out for you is great. 38104, 38104. This is Midtown Memphis. Uh, the first thing that pops in my head from an investor standpoint is if you're wanting to Airbnb in Memphis, okay. this is yep. the zip code and the location that I would do it in. Uh, you've got the Cooper Young area restaurants in the, mm. uh, Poplar and, and Cooper union union. Um, you've got, uh, any, any type of restaurant and anything you want in that area. Yes. There's the theater, there's entertainment, there's, uh, live music in this area. Yep. This is just, um, it's cool. It's a, it's the hippest part of town. Yeah. It's the hippest part of town. Um, medical districts in three, eight, one, university of Tennessee, uh, uh, medical school is there. Um, what else do we have in midtown? You're obviously three or four minutes from downtown. Yes. Um, but really uh, midtown is, if you can find it, it's great. I will caution you any rental property that's there, anything that you own there, it's going to be a hundred years old. Um, you're going to have more maintenance. You're going to have, more rehab. If you flip a house over there and it's 50 grand in rehab budget 70, because as soon as you tear a wall down, you're going to see something you didn't expect. So I don't mind Midtown. Uh, I don't have any rentals. I don't hold any rentals in Midtown uh, and I don't have any Airbnbs, but I do know some people that have got very yeah. successful Airbnbs and rentals in Midtown. Uh, so let's hit those numbers. At the end of July 22, we had 40 sales, 1,787 square feet. $275,057 was your average sales price. At the end of July 23, we had 39 sales, 2,351, 401,564 was your average sales price. Not surprising. I mean, there's way more residential. Peabody in some of these areas with really yeah. nice homes. I mean, yeah, are central. Gonna, central and yeah. Peabody are going to bring up those values. Uh, I don't think I th- saw it jumping 125,000 on average. Um, 
So to me, it tells me there's flipping going on Yes, because there's no new development. I mean, there's no space to build brand new houses. So it sounds to me like there's a lot of flipping uh, Airbnbs probably yeah. happening and being sold yeah. and that sort of thing. What and Coeur sees a lot of activity in there, but from a, from a um, population, you're 22, 23,000 people making 50 grand. Mm -hmm. So you're talking about a thirteen, fourteen hundred $1,400 rental. Mm -hmm. And property management manages a few in there and sees a thousand-ish, a little, little, little thousand plus over there, 5,000 parcels. Uh, you had said a hundred years old. They're actually ninety five years old. Yeah, my old. bad. So <laughs> if you just let's wait, if you, unless you're watching this five years from now, which we appreciate, uh, then now they're hundred years old. Uh, but average built in nineteen twenty eight. Yeah. Um, yeah. So twenty one fifty square foot three twos. So bigger houses built a hundred years ago. Bigger, um, older, traditional style houses. Yeah. Just big. Yeah. My. Um, um, yeah. It, 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 it's great. Um, love that area. All right. If you can find something. If you can it's find just something. It's, it's just Airbnb. It's just tough. Uh, one other thing to mention, I guess, is right there on uh, East Parkway, the, where the Liberty Bowl, all that development. Uh, yes. That's yes. going to be a huge yeah. ballpark. That's fair. So, I mean, that's fair. So, I mean, there's a ton of stuff happening. There's a proposal for uh, Liberty Bowl Memorial Stadium renovation. Uh, the fairs over there. They've got uh, University of Memphis plays their football games that they're at Liberty Bowl Memorial Stadium. Uh, so there's a ton of stuff right there in that area, which is exactly why the Airbnb market works. Yes. Yeah. Um, moving on three, eight, one, one, nine. Um, another great area, Quinson Ridgeway. You're going to, yeah, I don't know how many rentals you're going to find in this area, but you, it's still, um, MUS, really nice private school, Hutchison, uh, all kinds of shopping. You can go up park Avenue and be in Germantown in literally yeah. 90 seconds. Uh, you're right near Poplar, Ridgeway, Quail Hollow. There's restaurants and, and uh, oh, yeah. businesses and activity it, 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 over there. Yep. Uh, at the end of July of 22, we had 46 sales in 38119. 2,100, five square feet average. 276,000 was your average sales price. At the end of July of 23, holding pretty good, we had 40 sales, 2,300 square feet, and 327,000. So, the sales held pretty good and they went up 50 grand. Yep. So that tells me exactly there was some flipping going on in that area and there was some appreciation happening there because of the demand and where it's at. Rental yes. numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're talking about 25,000 people, so a little smaller population, but they're making 83 grand. Okay. So that's good good income. So that's about a $2,300 rental, okay. which property management has a few and it's in that, more than that $1,700 um, because there's some owner occupants, as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. Um 6,000 parcels, so not a ton. Built in 1975, 25, 50 square feet, um, four two bedrooms. So yeah. kind of in that Balmoral area, yeah. there's a lot of owner-occupant. Yeah. But there are some opportunities. Um, Corland sees some flips over there. Um, so it's great. I would say part of this, when you think about 38119 and even a little bit to the north of it, 38120, as a but that's probably like that Poplar and 240 is probably the center of Shelby County yeah. activity wise. Big time. So from Collierville to from the river to Collierville and from north to south. So this is like right in the center. Big time. Uh, 38105. So we've got two zip codes here that we're going to talk about. We don't see a ton of activity here, but I wanted to give it to you because of where it's at. Um, they call it Greenlaw. Uh, uh, yeah, Uptown Greenlaw. Yeah, there's literally very little activity, but because of where it's at, I'm going to give it to you. At the end of 22, July of 22, we had six sales, 1,573 square feet, 140,000. At the end of July of 23, we had eight sales, 484, 150,000. There's just not a lot of activity there. There's just, there's just not. It's uh, not... I mean, it's downtown. It's about it's 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 kind of about Harbor Town and the in, in but um, uh, the Pyramid Bass yeah. Pro Shops and the Pinch District mm -hmm. just north of there. They've redeveloped some of that. Um, so so Cortland sees some activity. Property management has some, but you're talking about a population of six thousand in that zip code, yeah. making twenty two thousand dollars. Yeah, you know, because um, some of it's old. So that's like a six hundred dollar rental. You know, property management sees over six hundred fifty, seven hundred dollars because they've got some lower and some of the they got rebuilt because it's close to St. Jude. Mm -hmm. um, there's an opportunity there, maybe someday, for it isn't today. <laughs> <laughs> there's five hundred parcels um, yeah. built in 1947, 1500, mm -hmm. three one and a halves. So it, you know, it it's just there's a lot of there. There's just not a lot there. It's hard to say something negative about our city, right? It, it's, Man, you, it you, it's, it's a struggle it to like, tell you not to do something, but 
that's just not an area where you want to start off in for sure. No. Oh, (laughs) absolutely not. There's a lot better places to get started. Yeah. Start on a firm foundation. Big time. And this one didn't. All right. 38107. Uh, North Memphis uh, medical uh, or across town area a little bit. Yeah, uh, just barely. I mean, it's just kind of it's. This is North North Memphis. It gets to cross town, but it's another another yeah. no man's land. At the end of July of twenty two, there was twenty nine sales, fourteen sixty three square feet, one hundred eighty eight thousand. That's probably skewed because of something. Where that, that's I was like, at. wait, what? That doesn't make yeah, sense. no. It Let's doesn't. see what. Keep going. Uh, at the end of July twenty three, we had twenty five sales, fifteen hundred square feet, one hundred sixty one thousand. So it dipped twenty grand. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm guessing there's development, uh, new construction. If I had to take a guess, that they're putting in pockets over there, but Pocket, that's not pockets. a good idea. Yeah. yeah, North Chicago, New Chicago, yeah. Smoky City, Klondike. I mean, they're redeveloping the Klondike, Valentine. Yeah. Um, section right there at, at, at 40 to 40 it's historic it's north memphis yeah um it, it's fifteen thousand people making thirty four thousand dollars that's a nine hundred dollar rental property manager got a few in there seeing that closer to eight hundred dollars five thousand parcels not a lot built in 1994 yeah 1450 square foot three one and a half so yeah. um corlin see some activity in there so there it's fringe yeah. And there's opportunity for flippers mostly trying to drop that price. So yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it's interesting. It proceed with caution. Proceed with caution. There a firm again back to there's some places you could build a firmer foundation to get started. Three eight one one two. This is the Rhodes College area. Yes. Uh um, I hear it's pretty nice over there. I hear it's nice over there. <laughs> Um, there's a lot of activity there. It's tough to find rentals that, that, that makes sense. Um, but the, the Rhodes college kind of drives a lot of this market, um, near the zoo, cross town, cross town, uh, a lot of things going on over there. Let's talk about three, eight, one, one, two, at the end of July of 22, there was 36 sales, 1,406 square feet, 192,000 was your average sales price. At the end of July, 23, we had 20 sales. 14, 12 square feet, 193,000. Uh, just a fewer transactions, but it stayed very it's, consistent. It's, 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 an, it's a good place. Yeah, great great location over there. If you can find something, if it definitely I would, I would say uh, – try to try to fit that in with the school uh there's there's a lot that goes on with that you know obviously with with renting to students and that sort of thing but you can still find like if you push up on mari um and some of those areas where mari is in jackson i mean there's some good rentals that aren't necessarily school yes, students that you true. can get really good solid tenants on yeah. so uh barksdale and that whole yeah. area north barksdale the whole area up there uh, I don't. I don't mind at all. Yeah, yeah, that's right. No, I, I, you know, there's seventeen thousand people over there making forty three grand, which yeah. is a twelve hundred dollar rental. Yeah. Property management sees that at about a thousand dollars. It's only five thousand parcels. It's not a huge zip code. Yeah, they were built in the nineteen forties. In fact, my um, my wife this was the first place she lived. Okay, and it was her grandmother's house. Okay, so right. I mean, just right there across from Rhodes College. Yeah, um, on North Parkway. It's it, it, lovely area. Three one and a halfs. So makes sense. Cor- property management and Coreland both active in there all day, every day. Yeah. So one, one, two is great. If you can, you know, it, find something that pencils for you. It's great. Yep, I've got stuff and have for years and don't plan. Uh, Rhodes college is 175 years old. It's not, mo- it's beautiful. Like look it up. It is beautiful. It's not moving in there. Uh, one of the, just, uh, um, Supreme Court justices went to college there. I mean, it's a great school cross town. They just redeveloped this, old Sears distribution center. So this, you know, this zip code, it's a, it's a nice zip code. Yeah. If you can find the right opportunity. That's right. That's right. Don't mind that at all. Uh, that Rhodes is a great place. $500 million in Dom. I mean, that, that place is not going anywhere. No, it's beautiful. All right. 38106. We're going to run a run into a, a string of zip codes here that maybe aren't as favorable on our end. Okay. Uh, 38106. This has been an area where I've said, do not invest in, um, there are also turnkey providers going into this market that are changing. Wow. Se- <laughs> what, wow. <laughs> that are selling houses. Uh, I'm getting the calls. Hey, would you do this? My, my answer is emphatically no, no, <laughs> no. period. 
Okay. And you might say, why? Why would you not buy a turnkey property in 38106? Well, I'll tell you why. It's going to be brand new when you buy it. You're going to get 25% more rent than you normally would. And then after two years, that tenant's going to tear that property to shreds, and you're going to be right back down at the market rent. Thank you. And you paid way over market value for the yeah. property. And, we'll, and the data the data the data's going to prove that. That's, the data's going to prove that. 38106, West Person, Elvis Presley area. Not, not as much Elvis Presley. Uh, West Person is really what, what we're calling it. At the end of July of 22, we had 44 sales, 1,173 square feet, 52,000 is your average sales price. At the end of July of 23, we had 25 sales, 1,187 square feet, 56,000, basically the same. You can mm -hmm. see why I'm telling you not low, low rent in this area. Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's get those numbers. Yeah. I mean, th to me, this, and it literally is hustle and flow. Like this, this is, is where area. it was filmed. This is where the whole development of hustle and flow. Um, and a lot of cool stuff. A lot of great music's come out of there. Yeah. A lot of great people. Just a hard, not a lot of great investors. A lot of the tenant base is tough. So there are 22,000 people in there making $27,000. Yeah. So less than three grand a month that they're making. So your rent is? So your rent is $750 a month. Yeah. I'd say that's Property high. management's got a, just a handful over there, and it's about 700 bucks. I mean, it is tough. They're trying to help people out. It's a tough area. 8,000 parcels, 1946 as the average year belt, three bedrooms, one bathrooms. Yeah. Small, I, little small houses that are old. And, and it's just, I mean, when you're running a property, you need a, you need a good stable home and a good tenant base. And, and I'm not talking about one individual person. I'm just saying as a group, the tenant base is tough. They're just hard on houses, lower income, Section 8 and M. I mean, it's just. It's just it's, 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 there's a lot of challenges to be in 38106. Big time. Yeah. All right. I, I'm, I'm, I'm again saying no. This is one of these areas where I tell you to yeah. pass on. Uh, 38126. Here's another extremely tough zip code that I tell you to stay away from. Just north of 38106. Yes, just north. And it, uh, South Memphis is what they call it. This is not going to surprise you and it literally confirms the yes. reason why I tell you no. At the end of July, this seems hard to believe, of 2022, there was one sale, <laughs> 1580 square feet for 9000 bucks. At the end of July of 2023, we had six sales this year. 1988 was your average square feet, 64000 only thing that tells me is there was, there's some people that bought houses and put 25 into them and turned around and sold them for 60 yeah. No. Yeah. The, Stay away. North. I call it North South Memphis. Yeah. Um, it's also, I saw some stuff that's like, it's tried to be so faux south of the forum because the FedEx forum in Beale Street is right there. Yes. And, yes. and they're trying to, to, to redevelop some stuff down in 126. But the problem is it's a lot of industrial. There used to be some um, old housing projects in Memphis. Memphis has done a, a job of tearing all those down and trying to rebuild in, build some mixed-use housing in there. Um, so you're talking about 6,000 people living in this zip code, yeah. and they're only making $16,000. Just tough. So that's a $450 rent. So maybe some small multifamily, maybe. I mean, it's like, it just doesn't, it's what they're renting. What, yeah, I mean, it's like a yeah, rental house that doesn't make sense. Property management has some because on north of there, they're renting for a thousand bucks mm -hmm. because they're close to that forum area. But it's, it's a challenging area. They're only a thousand parcels, mm -hmm. not many sales, as you know. Mm -hmm. Built in 1960, 1500 square foot, three, one and a half. So it's, it's just a, it's better, better opportunities. Opportunities lie elsewhere as far as I would say. Hard pass. I'm more, I'm more. Are you, in that's hard why you pass. do what you do. Yeah. Hard pass. 38114. We're going to skip to 38114 now. This is Orange Mound. Another area where I tell you to stay far away from cigarette houses uh, everywhere. They, uh, men came home from the Shotgun war. Shotgun houses. Yeah. Where they're, you know, straight back. Yes. Uh, they wanted to cram as many as they could on there. My mom told me it was when they, the, the men came home from war. They had place they needed places to live, so they built a lot of these houses as many as they could. Yeah, and they uh, cigarette house or shotgun house or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, three one one four, defense depot area, but Orange Mound is kind of where it's at. A lot of crime. I mean, there's crime all over Memphis, but yeah. this is just a high traffic area for it. 
in the end of 2022, July of 2022, there were 47 sales, 1187 square feet, 76,500 was your average sales price. At the end of July 23, we had 30 sales, 1278 square feet, 79,000 held pretty you know, steady as far as price point uh, dipped a little bit in your transactions. It, it's a historic area. A yeah. lot of pride, Melrose High School. Yeah. And, and there's some pockets in there, but 100% what you said, because here's the data. Yeah. 25,000 people making $28,000. That turns out to a rent of seven fifty. dollars yep. So it's, it's seven seventy five. dollars So yep. a property management's got a few in there in the eight hundred dollars a little more just trying to help help the folks who man who own over there. So Corlin sees some activity over there. Yeah. People again, there's some pockets. It, it, it's a it's just some challenges. Eight thousand square uh, parcels built World War II, 1946. Yeah. Yep. People come home. Um, Thirteen hundred square foot, three one and a half. So, you know, just again, other opportunities. Yeah. Other opportunities. Other opportunities. All right. 38108 Jackson Farmville area. I own some properties in 38108. The further north you go, the worse this gets. Um, I think Jackson is about as far north as I prefer to go. Okay. I don't have anything north of Jackson. You get north of Jackson, you start getting to that Chelsea Avenue area yeah. and Hollywood, Chelsea. It's extremely tough. Um, but 38108 at the end of July of 22, we had 32 sales, 1186 square feet. 78,379 was your average. At the end of July of 23, we had 23 sales, 1148, 73,000 held very consistent. I mean, it stayed exactly what it is. Yeah, this, this I mean, there's a lot of old industry that ran along Jackson. Yeah. You know, in Chelsea. Oh yeah. So, um I'm up up in that area uh, often to go in, go in different places, but it's, it's only 17,000 people. Yeah. Um, and they're only making 28,000 bucks. Mm -hmm. So again, we when to see this common denominator of the rent is, is like seven fifty seven seventy five. That's just so tough. It's, a, it's hard to make when you're buying rentals and they're less than a thousand bucks. It's just hard to make the numbers work when you talk about repairs and, when and you, turnover. And you said the average income was what? 27 grand. So that's 22 or $2,300 a month. And yeah. you're saying the rent's seven, 750. See how close it is to not being able to pay the rent. So there is a third, you know, it's, I'm using that third and property management's managed a few over there at $800, 6,000 parcels built in 1951 on mm -hmm. average, 1100 square feet. And they're two ones. Yeah. So they're littler houses. We'd seen that with the stuff that, that that's up there by the, yeah. um, cemetery. Yeah. Uh, there's a veteran cemetery up there. It's a beautiful cemetery. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's just a challenging area. Uh, property management's active over there. Um, and Cortland's active over there. So they're, so they're just cause they're challenging area doesn't mean people aren't doing stuff. And, no. and, and you list things for people. You don't oh, yeah. necessarily advise people to buy, but you, uh, you will, you will list for anybody who needs yeah. to get out of a situation. Yeah. Property management helps people in situations. Cortland helps people. So yeah. I'm everybody's okay. active. Like I own, you know, and, I, and I'm with you. I own some of three at 108. Jackson national and East. I like to stay on Highland yeah. East, yeah. but national for sure is the kind of the cutoff yeah. and just, and keep going East in that three, one Oh eight area. But yeah. yeah, no, I own several. I don't, and, I don't mind that at all. And, and I say, I mean, I've owned, I think in every zip code, some <laughs> way, somehow, I mean, yeah. maybe not in Germantown and Collierville and some others, but, but as far as the rental areas I have owned in those, I don't yeah. anymore. Yeah. I've been more selective. Um, but in some, and, but we've told you, well, we've given, we've you, heads given up. you the heads up on everything. With <laughs> a, right. Listen to the Zip Code podcast. Listen to the statistics and yeah. figure out what works for your goals That's right. and where you're trying to go. Uh, two other areas we're going to talk about. I don't get some of these numbers because they're not in Shelby County, but let's start off. And we'll talk about Millington, Tennessee, which is just north. It's Tipton County. Um, I know you've got a strong rental presence in Millington. The naval base is there. Huge naval base. Uh, very strong tenant base. Uh, 15 minutes from the city, uh, lots of, uh, young families, lots of, yeah. uh, you know, the 15 to 2000 square foot homes, you're getting a little bit more room and land in Millington. There's just more space up there. What about from a rental standpoint? Yeah. I was going to say in Millington, I mean that, that to me, I think suburb, like yeah. when people talked about suburbs, at least in my mind, 
right now, really in Memphis, everywhere we've talked about, it's all city. Yeah. Like you don't leave the area and then come up to a new area. Mm -hmm. If you leave, go driving north, or if you're coming around from the east, you leave the city and you drive through some cotton field, some yeah. uh, 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 other t- uh, crops, row yeah. crops. Yeah. And then it's, you get to Millington. Yeah. And Justin Timber, Elvis is Whitehaven. <laughs> Justin Timberlake is Millington. That's their claim to fame. Yeah. Um, it, you're talking about 26, 27,000 people up there in Millington, uh, North Shelby County. Making fifty five thousand, so that's a two thousand. I mean, uh, that's a fifteen hundred dollar rental. Yeah, and property manager's got a few. It sees just over a thousand bucks for that. And so parcels eight thousand built in nineteen seventy eight yep. suburban community eighteen hundred fifty square feet, three bedrooms, two bathrooms. Own municipality, schools, yes. district, yes. police, all fire, yes. all the thing that's themselves. Yeah, I'd- and fifty one to the north and 385 comes right in there. So 385 connects you to 240 yep. and to 40 really out there at mm, exit 25 or something. Blue Oval City, exit 39. Millington's so, going to see some improvements from Blue Oval. Because it's you. super easy with 385 the way it's yeah. built. And then yeah. um, and someday I-69 from Canada to Mexico is supposed to come through that area. Yep. So see you know, what happens. See what yeah. happens. So it's anyway. DeSoto County in Mississippi. This is the county right below Memphis, uh, the northernmost part of Mississippi. The top of Mississippi. <laughs> yeah, so funny. Top of Mississippi. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, there are three areas, four, that you could possibly invest in. Olive Branch, uh, Hernando, South Haven, and Horn oh, okay. Lake. Olive Branch is going to be tough, a little bit more residential. You're going to have higher priced homes there. Yep. You can still possibly find something in Olive Branch, their own school system and municipality. So it's another one of those attractive things. South Haven, if you keep moving uh, west from Olive Branch, it's west. There's South Haven, uh, two, two zip codes, yep. 38671, 38672. Uh, the older section, which is you know Highway 55, kind of split South Haven. The older section of it that is a little bit north there, um, Colonial Hills, mm-hmm. um, is a very strong rental area, uh, high pride of uh, community and ownership yes. right there. A lot of FedEx employees come straight down. Uh, they cross the state line and live there. The other section of South Haven, which is Get Well, um, um, kind of Goodman, Goodman. area, uh, Snowden more, Grove. Owner, more owner-occupant. Way more owner-occupant. Yeah, They've got an amphitheater over there, and you can't really find any rentals that are going to make sense in that part yeah, of South that's Haven. That's right. If you keep going west, you're going to run into Horn Lake now. Horn Lake is uh, this is you talked about earlier how you missed out on Colonial Acres. Yeah, we've talked about missing out. On, I missed on Horn out Lake. on yep. Horn Lake, and I, yeah. I I was even in the business and selling houses yes. over there. But uh, Twin Twin Lakes, Desoto Village is the biggest communities in Horn Lake. Uh, you three twos are everywhere. Yes. Brick houses. Um, you used to be able in 2009 and 10 and 11 you could get them for 30 and 40 grand yep. that, that needed 20 grand in work. Now they're one hundred forty thousand, one hundred fifty thousand dollars. So if you can't tell, I'm a little better about that one. <laughs> you could have bought everyone. Could have bought everyone. Didn't didn't have uh, my investor mind uh, going at that point. But uh, Horn Lake is a definite area. They're putting WalMarts and uh, fast food chains are coming yeah. there. So there's there's still some steady growth. There, there, there is, but all, all those ha- have um, property management has activity. Cortland has activity. I've been down active in Horn Lake and South Haven for a while, for a long time, yeah. and. Horn Lake is some DeSoto County and Mississippi non-disclosure. We don't have the data that we do um, on on some uh, like we do in Tennessee. And they're enacting some code um, legislation, rental registry type of stuff. So it's great to own rentals down there. But there's a fee now per house. There's a fee now per house, and it increases the, like, the number you get if you have over a five or something. Yeah. It, it increases substantially. Which is super sad because all investors are doing are going to pass that to the tenant. I yeah. mean, that, that's what the local yeah, government it, there d- doesn't seem to get. I understand if you're trying to tax the investor market. Um, this just isn't the way to do it. Yeah. It's going right to the tenant, and it don't don't let it stop you. Like I said, I've no. been active down there, and yeah. we have we know people who have above the minimum threshold to to or the maximum you can have before they start 
kind of quote penalizing you and they still do really well. Oh, they're killing so, it. No, that, that, that area nice, from desirable. a rental standpoint is, is yeah. super desirable. Again, so. a lot happening in DeSoto County of development. Yes. I looked at statistics, and maybe we'll, we'll throw this in there. I looked at statistics the other day, and the MSA, some people look at the Memphis area and, and talk about population changes. But if you look at the MSA since 1950, it's tripled from like 400,000 to 1.2 million. Memphis surrounding areas. The Memphis surrounding area. And DeSoto County is seeing tr- significant yeah. tremendous growth big time hernando is the last place you probably are not going to find any rentals in hernando yeah it's, it's just tough. a residential owned school district people want to move there it's super nice uh really nice yeah, area a little fun. Uh, Go you the can dip. get there from highway 55 <laughs> it's really <laughs> good cream. it's great it's great <laughs> I, you know i don't live too far from there so okay uh, our zip code breakdown i thought was really good this is like i said our most popular podcast for sure um Again, to end, our show sponsors have been such a vital part of this. Uh, April McDowell up at Local Title, uh, they've done such a great job. Will Griffin with Griffin, Cliff, Everton, and Mashmeyer, two great title companies. Uh, different, you know, Will can help you with some different things. They both close deals. I've had great experiences with both staff. So, um, really excited for that partnership with yeah, them. Yeah, and Core Lend, Hard Money Lender, uh, the folks over there potentially get you a, no money down 100% yeah. financing depending on the deal fix and flips buy and holds short term bridge loans into long term loans even if you need it yeah. uh, and then Crest Core Property Management yep. they've been in the business a long time expert property managers managing all over city gave us a lot of data about properties and property management and zip codes we talked about some about when we're over there or you're listing stuff yeah. or taking pictures or go, doing the show-ins uh, we're owning in these things property management their team and their the contractors they use they're in every zip code all day every day yeah. so they're eyes and ears and they can provide you a lot of guidance and insight yeah. as you talk to some of the folks over there 100 percent agree thank you guys for listening appreciate that if you have any questions dean at crestcore.com i'm happy to help you and we'll see you next time